Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. At the tail end of just about every one of the videos uh, that we uh, publish on Locker Gnome, uh, you know, the ones that we record on YouTube, you know, the, the live TLDR, the Locker Gnome Daily Report, I end it with a simple gesture. This, a three-finger salute saying, we'll e you later. It's pretty simple. Uh, but I also tell you about one of the web pages that I happen to have on one of my websites, live.perillo.com. And there, we've got interesting conversations happening in the chat room that's sewn into the live video feed that's actually happening right now, not just this live broadcast, but the other one as well. What's interesting about that live video feed now is that we have the Nomies as a part of a TeamSpeak server, and they're chatting back and forth talking about various topics. Well, one of them brought up the topic of how to deal with a forgotten Windows password. And we thought, um, how could you deal with something that you've forgotten like that? Imagine if you hadn't used a PC for so long and you forgot the password that you set up for it. You couldn't get back in there even if you needed to get back in there. And there are ways to work around the problem. Of course, my number one suggestion is Use the same password in your home computers, not necessarily on your notebook computers, the computers that you would take away from the house, uh, or at least have a, a user account that you set up on those computers that you know the password to and that you're going to remember throughout the years. Make it you know, complex, but also make it simple enough so that uh, at, with repetition, you're not going to forget it. And then, of course, you can set a, a password hint uh, for yourself. Uh, there are some j suggestions we make for uh, recovering the data uh, from that computer if you can't remember that Windows password, including using Ubuntu. I don't know if you'd consider that. Uh, there are different instructions for 32-bit Windows or 64-bit uh, versions of Windows. And there are also applications uh, that, uh, you know, beyond the precautionary methods as we've outlined on the uh, article on LockerGnome.com, which is linked somewhere in the description, feel free to click it and share it with someone who's lost their Windows password. Maybe not today, but in the future, you know, we've covered it. Uh, there's Oaf crack. Uh, you can create a live CD for it, boot from it. Uh, now, here's the thing. Uh, that should scare you because if you can use software to get to uh, a forgotten Windows password, uh, you're using it for legitimate reasons. Someone, yourself included, and I would never condone this kind of practice, could use it for illegitimate reasons. Um, setting up several security measures uh, are important. It's not just a password. Uh, you, you've got to put uh, several measures in place when it comes to protecting your data, your sensitive data, uh, things that you wouldn't want the world to know. And we've listed a couple of other uh, preventative uh, measures. My recommendation, though, is that you don't do like what my dad did that one day and pulled out his little piece of paper and showed it to the world and all the passwords were on that piece of paper. And I even asked him beforehand, like, do you have anything on there? No, no, it's fine. And it wasn't fine. But I'm very grateful that uh, many of you in our community were uh, very protective of my dad. Thank you. And you said, uh, Chris, you may want to tell him to change those passwords. He did. And he's no longer writing them down on a piece of paper. My recommendation, use a, a password management tool. I'm a huge fan of 1Password. Uh, others have uh, recommended, uh, I think, LastPass being another one. Uh, you know, it doesn't really matter which one you choose. You're, you're going to have a favorite after trying a few of them. Hopefully you've tried a few of them, whether you pay for them or you, you get them for free. Uh, the bottom line is there are ways to recover that Windows password without having to reformat. Uh, so keep that in mind the next time this happens to you or someone you know.